Hey everyone, my name is T-Man, and welcome to another episode of the Smash Project, where we play one game for every fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This time, we're playing Super Mario Score. This is more Super Mario Score. We are entering this door. And entering... Dire, dire docks. Well, no, no, it's not hard to make, but you'll see that eventually. Anyways, I believe yeah. one of these uh, uh, has a secret level. Uh, there's a secret one up there that we didn't get, but and who, uh, who cares? But the other one, go in and secret star. You just need to collect the red coins as usual in the secret stars. They're either slides or red coins. Had to figure this out. Uh, it may take a while, but uh, about this game, uh, about a social experiment. This is quite possibly the most historically significant video game ever. Like we were never gonna have anything quite like this. We never had anything like this before. Mm. This game basically defined what gaming was going to be like in the third dimension, influencing pretty much almost every franchise in gaming history. Almost. Basically, if a franchise has gone to the third dimension, Pokemon Super Mario 4, it takes influence from 64 in how it plays. This game is the most influential game ever. We never had anything quite like the third dimension in gaming. And we, we're never going to have anything quite as major of a setup as that. The third dimension redefined gaming and we're never gonna have anything quite like that you can't add another D except maybe in, maybe in like the, the end of this century or something when we have like I don't know games that warp time and space but that would be crazy man I don't think they could do stuff that crazy without breaking reality honestly <laughs> yeah that's a funny joke but you know we're never gonna have another D so this game defining 3D is just the most central game ever. They will never get anything quite like this. Yeah. It was a backing game for the Nintendo 4, and it was completely revolutionary. And there's a star. So we just go over and grab it. But, man, just listen to this music. I'll give you more time to listen to it in the next level, uh, actually. I'll just let you listen to it in the next level, honestly. This is, this is one of the most iconic songs in the game for a very good reason. And by the next level, I mean Jolly Roger Bay. It was always one of the castle's secret stars. And let's go into the bay. This level has the least scoring of any level. But that's just random shit, yeah. Just think of this. The deeper you go, the more instruments are added. It's just beautiful, isn't it? The most gorgeous Mario tunes ever. Yeah, I didn't really figure out how to kick my feet uh, with the feet button until later, but you know. You know, this is a level I could just fall asleep in, honestly. It's beautiful. There is a sunken ship inhabited by a mysterious eel. Hello, Mr. Eel. Oh, I just, I just so want to sleep in here, man. I, I bet all of us do, honestly. Just, just on the beach, just sleeping on the beach, just falling the beach. I would just so love that. But, uh, you just gotta keep coming, man. That's what we do. I mean, sure, Mario does fall asleep if you leave him alone for too long, but, you know. That's just kind of the nature of him. the character. He's a pretty level goofball. 
I just look and listen and just... This level, even today, is beautiful. A uh, prime example of just, of just pure beauty in the video game level. A prime example of one. And we gotta get some air, cause, you know, can't stand down there for too long. There. And since we touched the eel, we can now enter the ship. This is about the part of the game, the level where I started to get some pretty, pretty, pretty tricky trouble. Anyways, there's Eel there. Hello, Mr. Eel. Just swimming around. Nice. Feel you, man. It's nice to swim around, isn't it? Anyways, just go in here. There. There's some chests here. We need to open them. You should probably create a restore point soon before it's too late. That would be nice. I do this a lot more often later on when it gets tougher. You're right, cool, cool man. They wouldn't before then, you know. Ah, oh, nice air. Anyways. Which chest is next? We had to figure out the order of these chests to get the bubbles and get to the next part of the mission. Yep. Alright, it resets, and we know exactly the order now. Ah, that felt good. Pop the bubble. Or not. We're good right now. Now we may need this bubble. Oh, but we didn't get it. Now the water's draining. As you can see here. Now I didn't realize that we probably should have uh, uh, swam all the way uh, as far as we could. That would have helped. That would have helped a big time. But as it stands. We gotta get through a good chunk of just me trying and failing to figure out what to do, honestly. It looks pretty good now. Yeah, I didn't figure out the kick spam bit, uh, uh, glitch at this point, but once I do, I rely on it frequently. As I am not good at this game, honestly. It has not aged the best in controls or camera or anything. Yeah, I get pretty close sometimes, but I just kind of fall back down again. Back to the start. After I move the camera around. There. Yep, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, this is not going well, honestly. Anyways, a little bit of history about this level. You know, you haven't seen it yet, but once we get to the cannon, we can actually see an unused uh, uh, ship model that's floating in the sky for some reason. That was kind of left there, floating in the sky. There's no hitbox in it. There's nothing inside of it, uh, and it's just a mystery. We'll see it eventually. But anyways, this is not going well, honestly. This is a good half of the video, honestly. 
Yeah, I'm sorry this video isn't as long as the previous videos. Uh, that's just because I had to I have to get this one software on Windows 10 to be able to convert some footage I have. I'll do that next week, honestly. But uh, yeah, trying and failing to get up. We got it. We got it. We got it. And now we go. Oh, we're here. Eh, uh, we don't got it. Oh, we don't got it. Is this it? Is this the moment of truth? No, it's not. Or is it? Maybe? Maybe? No, it's not. With the camera around may help. This camera is very bad in this game. Whether you have it on like do oh my it's very bad on the play later find out. But uh maybe jump over here. And then to here. No. Jump here. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. What will work, honestly? Yeah. Oh, that's not working. It's honestly just not going to pop. But, uh, yeah, we're just struggling here. <laughs> but, uh,. I don't think it's frustrating to watch myself just fail over and over again. But there will be more instances of this because this has some pretty frustrating moments for the game uh, by today's standards. Uh, throughout the game, it's pretty frustrating moments. Anyways, I see we're getting close to the end of the video. So maybe this is the moment of truth. No, this is right. Alright, we're on this big platform, nice. Long jumps are key, I think. Long jumps are key. And there it is. There's the star! This is our only- We're only doing two stars this episode, but there'll be more stars in the future. I'm just showing off the levels at this point. Plunder the sunken ship. Same continue. Anyways, thanks for watching.